In this video, I want to take a look at how WooCommerce handles the sizing of the images that you're uploading for your catalog. There are three different sizes of image that are created in WooCommerce when you upload an image. Okay, so all you have to do, as we saw before, if I just go like this, remember all we did was upload our featured image, and from that featured image, it creates other images. Same with when we uploaded these ones for the gallery, it creates extra images for them, just like WordPress does. All right, and those are controlled here in your settings under catalog. And you'll see the three types here. Three images, catalog images, those are the ones used on the catalog pages. So if we're over here, let me cover these two first. Here's the product page one, and here's product thumbnails. So when they say product thumbnails, those are the ones they're talking about. Single product image, of course, is your featured image. And then we've got catalog images, and that's when we go over to here, catalog. Okay, right, so you've got the sizing in mind. Those are the ones that they're using. Now, what if you want different sizes? Well, you can change that right here, all right? Giving it dimensions. Now, typically you want squares. You don't have to use squares, but you could if you want. Now, the one thing they don't explain clearly here is about this, hard cropping. When you mouse over this, by the way, it doesn't help you about hard cropping. It actually just tells you a bit about what catalog image is, single product, which isn't all that helpful because those are fairly explanatory. What we need to know about is this hard cropping. What does that mean? Well, let's go take a look at our products here. So you can see, this is what we mean by cropping, okay? If the image itself doesn't lend itself to being square, then what it does is it takes the center area, just like WordPress does when it crops its thumbnails. Same thing again here. But not everybody likes that effect. You know, it does give us nice squares for everything, but things are going to get cut off. In particular, look at this one. This actually is a stand that we're only taking the very middle of it. So how do you deal with cropping. Well, first of all, let me show you the effect. Let's turn off the cropping, okay? And what it doesn't explain here is that it's going to be proportional. What it's going to do is it's going to take your image, find the longest side, and apply this number to it, okay? So if it happens to be the height, it'll make that 300 and the width will be proportional. If it's the width that's 150 here, it'll make the height proportional. You get the idea. Okay, so let me save my changes. And now, when I go in to add a new product here, you can't do this to existing products. You would have to regenerate their thumbnails. And there's a procedure for doing that, and they explain in there how to do it. There's plugins that can do it. So this will just be our test bowl, because I'm not sure which one we're putting in here. Let's just grab something. All right, and we'll select our files. Actually, let's just grab a plate. How's that? Gray plate. All right, see how proportionally it's not grabbing everything there, so it's cropped it. Now that's in WordPress. And now I'm going to insert it into the post. No, I'm going to use it as a featured image. There we go. And we're just going to call this gray plate. And we're going to put it under dinner plates here. And we'll just give it a price, $14. There we go. And so now I can publish it. Okay, let's come back to our products here, and we're going to refresh. Now, notice what it's done. It's made it proportional, so it's not a square any longer. Okay, so if you need that, and you want that in your system, then you're going to have to change the settings here under image options. You would take off hard cropping. By default, hard cropping is turned on, and you would get these ones where it's cut off. Okay, but if you want it proportional, you want it like that. Okay, now, what if I've already got an image? Now, I don't mind the squares. Let's say I'm going with the squares, and that's fine. I want to keep that. Uh, let me go back, and I'm just going to put in hard cropping here just to make sure that our system knows we want things hard cropped. Okay, but I want to edit. I don't like, for example, that this is missing the top part of the bowl stand. Okay. So all I have to do is put a plugin in, and I'll show you the name of the plugin here. It's called 
post thumbnail editor. I'm going to activate it right now. Post thumbnail editor. We went into some detail on this with Jigo Shop, but I'll just show you how this works now. If I go over to my products and I go find my metal bowl stand, okay. Now what you're going to find is you're going to have on the product images here, you're going to have a little button that wasn't there before. I go to my gallery. So this is what I uploaded before. And now you're going to see a little link here called Post Thumbnail Editor. This is because we put that plugin in. And all you have to do, this shows you not just WordPress's images, but you can see them here, Shop Thumbnail, Shop Catalog. These are being generated by WooCommerce. And I say to it, you know, I want to change this. I want to have this and this. I want to change them. Okay. Now, how do you change them? Well, I try to create thumbnail. Nothing happens. What you have to do is just start dragging in here. Okay. Let me go to there. Now I create my thumbnail. There we go. These look good. And I hit that. I could do more. Now I could go back and do the other one, but we won't bother right now. Okay, always hit update, even though you made those changes up there. Hit update, and now watch what happens, because we changed the catalog thumbnail, see? Now I can see properly what my bowl stand looks like. So that's a very handy tool if you have a product that isn't quite fitting what you normally would have in your shop for all your settings. Okay, so that's how we handle images in WooCommerce.